Hey, it is time for some Truth Matters. What do you think? Well, we're going to talk about prayer. Uh, that's our next section that we want to get into. And I'm just going to do a short video about just what prayer is all about. Uh, prayer is so important because it, it, it really, if you just break it down, it's, uh, it's, it comes out of God's invitation to be our Father, right? To, he says, look, I love you, gave my son to die for you. You're now part of the family. And, and so what do we do in families, right? We talk. We talk, we communicate, we let people know what's going on, we ask for things, we, we share things, we, and, and that's how we get to know people. It's, it's, it's something that has always been a part of what it means to be a human being and made by God and, and living for God. And, and what happens is, and you know this, um, when, when you're having a, 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 just a rough time, like, like maybe you get into a fight with a friend of yours, I mean, a knockdown, drag out. I mean, you were just so mad they did something or you did something to them. And, uh, and, and, and I'd be willing to bet that, um, that, you in, in, that you'll know there's a problem. And people know where there's a problem because you'll say, well, like, so-and-so is not talking to me. And I'm not talking to her. See, that, that's one of the first things that gets shut down. You're, you're, I'm not talking to you. And, and in a relationship, if we're not talking to each other, there's more likelihood for there to be a problem because we don't we, we may not understand each other we may not know what's going on so God is saying look come to me talk to me let's 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 get these things out in the open and so uh, when you look at um, verse uh, we're actually in uh, if you're following along in our my Christian faith book where this is uh, chapter 17 and 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 forward where we talk about just Again, taking God at His word, saying, all right, God, you, you've, you said I could ask, and I'm going to do that. But let's remember that the asking is always connected to the relationship with Him. So, so maybe that, that's going to probably keep us from asking for like crazy, wild things that will probably cause us problems. And focusing us on, on the things that we really need, like, Lord, I need direction. I need help. I need, I need all of that. So here's a, um, a good uh, kind of a thing to help you like okay how should I pray and and, and what should I pray and so I, I love the word it's it's it spells out cats uh, c-a-t-s I know your book probably says acts a-c-t-s if I get that right um, but I like confession at the beginning right so cats is good I have two cats so hey there you go uh, so you know th this isn't something that you need to have like the list in front of you uh, in order to pray but, but this helps, hopefully kind of gets you started, if you will, and, and, and try to say, okay, maybe there's some things that will give me some ideas when it comes to prayer. Maybe there's something I'm not asking God. Like, like maybe I don't start in confession. Maybe I don't bring to Him the problems that I'm having, right? The, the anger that I'm experiencing or the, the selfishness maybe that's become a part of my life and, it's, and it needs to go. So we start with confession, right? And then the A is adoration. Uh, and that is where we just sort of like, we, we, we look at the Word of God and we see it, just how awesome He is. And it's, it's just talking to Him and saying, Lord, I just thank You for being so loving. Thank You for giving Your Son to die for me, right? You're, you're saying things that show that You adore, that You love Him, right? So adoration is the second one. Uh, so we got, we got confession, we got adoration, that's the A, right? And then what would you think the T would be, right? It's the thanks, right? So if I know I'm forgiven and I know how awesome he is, I'm going to say, Lord, well, thank you for that. And, and very often I find like adoration and, and thanksgiving all, often go hand in hand um, because when you think about how awesome he is, automatically I think what, what flows is just saying, Lord, thank you for that. And then the last one is kind of the, the churchy word, right? The, uh, the, it's, it's the word supplication. Uh, and uh, it, 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 it's just a fancy way of, of saying to ask God for things. So we confess our sins, right? We say, Lord, forgive me. You're awesome. You're incredible. I thank you for all of that. And, and, and so because you've done all of that for me, uh, here's some things that are going on in my life. Like where I got a big test coming up and I, I, I'm just lost. Uh, with this or, or I'm lonely or I'm upset or I'm tired uh, uh, I just learned that that someone in my family is sick Lord could you help with that uh, that's that's supplication where you're just taking specific things to God all right so that's that's kind of the beginning of prayer uh, sort of the things to get you started and what we're gonna do is um, uh, look at the Lord's Prayer and that's what's gonna start the next couple of videos 
uh, it's all those different sections and we're going to break it down uh, in one line at a time with the Lord's Prayer. All right, because that's the prayer that Jesus, when he was asked, like how his disciples said, like, how should we pray? Very often leaders of those days, religious guys, would have like sort of a method of prayer or a way that they approached prayer. And he's saying, okay, well, Jesus, well, what's your approach? Like, how should we approach it as your followers? Uh, and, that, and that's like the big question for us, isn't it? How, how do we do that? And so we get the Lord's Prayer. So next video, we're going to get into it and, and begin to walk through this incredible prayer.